Hundreds of guns, 350 pounds of ammunition are now in the hands of law enforcement after West Palm Beach hosted a gun buyback. News Channel 5's Jamel Lene was there as city officials pushed to make the streets safer. Jane McCarthy is parting ways with her old revolver. I haven't touched the gun and I said, this is silly, you know, I'm going to get rid of it. She's had it since the 70s. She dropped it off Saturday at West Palm Beach's gun buyback event. Jane says this prevents the gun from falling into the wrong hands, such as a criminal or even a child. It's just really frightening to see what's happening. I don't want it around. I have a grandchild now, too. I just don't want to think about that. Do a function test. We're good. First of all, I'm just so pleased to see so many uh, people turning in their unwanted guns. Mayor Jerry Moyo hoping to beat the number of guns turned in at the last buyback. Last time we did it, it was uh, we had about 300 turned in. It looks like we're going to get more than that. City officials using gift cards as an exchange was an incentive for many. Well, thank you. Of course. Florida lawmakers also out supporting the effort, saying gun laws will be one of the main issues during the upcoming session. Anytime you see legislation in the state of Florida, it's very um, uh, pro, you know, getting guns uh, into people's hands, um, and you know that might be okay in Alachua County. But when you're looking at urban, dense areas, you want to do it in a smart way. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Jamel and A, WPTV News Channel 5.